Hey folks, Matt from writeroftheimage.com. Got David writing in. Uh, he's got a question about hiking. He says, uh, I will be hiking the John Muir Trail in September for three weeks. I have a Nikon D3200 I was planning on taking with me. What one lens would you take or would you go with a new camera? An 18-140 to 140 all-around lens or a wide angle for the views? I will also be taking a GoPro Black 5. Remember, I have to carry everything for three weeks. Thank you, uh, thank you, Dave. Here is an idea of the views. And then he shows us this photo here, which I'm just going to enlarge here. Uh, the, this is the John Muir Trail, the trail connecting Yosemite to Mount Whitney over 220 miles. Pretty much can't get any better than this. And uh, I'd have to agree, that is beautiful. So um, the uh, question is, does he get a, uh, what one lens would he take with the 3200? Or would he get an, a new camera altogether? Um, the 3200 is still pretty capable camera. I'm not sure what your budget is. I would be tempted to go with a new camera. Um, I would probably be, if it was me right now and I was doing that, just because I know what my requirements are, plus if I was going on a trip, I'd probably get the M50, the Canon EOS M50. I would probably take that and a, a selection of lenses. Um, if I wanted to stay Nikon, I would probably take a D72. Actually, no, scratch that. Uh, if you're not worried about video and you already have a GoPro, I would get a 7100 for the big cost savings. The only difference between the 7100 and the 7200, deeper shot buffer. So uh, I'm assuming if you're walking the trail, you're not going to be needing to shoot fast-moving subjects with high frame rates. So I would get a 7100, and I would get the 18 to 140 is a solid lens. But I would also look at the um, 18 to 200, or actually probably preferably the 18 to 300, because I'd want an all-around lens. I'd also throw a 50 f1.8G in the bag, or an f1.8D, uh, and then I've got a fast prime for things where if I want quick portraits, or I want blown out background, or if it's dark, then I've got that fast prime available. That's what I would do. If you're looking to go smaller and you have the budget, I'll give you another option. As many of you know, I love the X-T20. Beautiful little camera, capable 4K video, fantastic 24 megapixel X-Trans sensor in here from Fuji. Got the 50F2 on here, and I would take that with me. Beautiful prime. Um, as you know, I've said before, this is one of the best... Uh, one of the best uh, kit lenses ever made, an 18-55 to f2.8-4 from Fuji. However, if you're wanting more of an all-rounder, you might want to consider their 18-135. to I think that might be a great travel lens combination for you. Um, and then you can either, if, if you want to take a faster lens, add that f50 f2. If not, just go with the 18-135. to The other option is you could go with something very small and lightweight, like the um, T, I think it's the TZ. Hang on one sec. My apologies, I was going to grab the camera for you, uh, but it's out in the truck and it's pouring rain out right now, and actually my umbrella's in the truck too, of all things. So the camera that I carry with me almost all the time uh, in the truck, as you can tell, it's in the truck right now, um, and I'm sorry I couldn't grab it, uh, I just didn't want to get soaked and come back in to finish the videos. Um, the T, uh, why do I always want to say T? The ZS100 from Panasonic, I think it's a T something in, in, in other parts of the world. It's a one inch sensor, compact with a 25 to 250 zoom on it in equivalent 35 mil terms beautiful little camera capable of very good image quality with a long range zoom and i love it and then even better the new zs 200 is uh the update to it uh one inch sensor small very pocketable fits in the palm of your hand um with the new 24 to 360 uh, zoom on it. These are Leica, Leica DC lenses. Um, it's a it's a variable aperture. I think the new ones are three 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 to six four. It says here. Um, great, great image quality. Very compact. Fantastic to take with you on travel and trips and whatnot. And you're not sacrificing a lot with these new one inch sensors. They really perform nicely, and you get such a small, pocketable, like palm of your hand camera. Very similar size to the LX10 that you've heard me uh, rave about. And I love the LX10. I like the LX10 more for vlogging and video. But if I'm doing travel stuff, I like that long zoom. I don't need the faster lens of the LX10. I prefer the long zoom. So have a look at either the ZS100 or the ZS200. I'll put links below. Um, maybe the Fuji X-T20 is, is the way to go. Smaller, lighter kit. Or if you want to stay Nikon. Look at the D7100 with, I would say, either the 18-200 to or the 18-300 to for a travel lens. 
optionally maybe a d5500 smaller lighter same image quality just not as pro body that's what i would do let me throw it back to our viewers what would you guys do in this situation what would you do if you were going to travel um this is a pretty good opportunity that david's got here looks very interesting what camera would you take would you, would you go with something i've suggested would you go with something entirely different let us know in the comments below what you guys would do and why. Let's help out David in making his decision on what to take here. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks for your question, David. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.